Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve another question that was asked by Ipamu Joseph on Telegram channel regarding the optimization problem. The question is like this. Minimize cost for a firm. We are being given the cost function of a firm that is C is equal to 5x square plus 2xy plus 3y square plus 800. Okay. Uh, subject to the fixed level of output uh, that is x plus y is equal to 39. This is our production quota. Okay. We have to estimate the additional cost uh, if fixed level of output is increased by 40. That means if there is change in this constant by one unit, what will be our additional cost? Okay. So let us see how to solve this. First of all, uh, we have to minimize that means we want to minimize our cost that is C is equal to uh, 5x square plus 2xy. Uh, plus 3y square plus 800 this is our minimization problem we want to minimize our cost subject to the uh, production quota that is uh, such that uh, x plus y x plus y is equal to 39 okay now how do we uh, find the optimal values of uh, the x and y that means uh, the optimal values of uh, the product is for that we need to form the leverages function how do we form the leverages function first uh, step is uh, we set this constant equal to zero okay if we set uh, this constant equal to zero so this will become 39 minus x minus y is equal to zero okay this is the first step we set uh, the production constant equal to zero and after that we multiply it by lambda okay then we can form the uh, Lagrange's uh, function. Lagrange's function is formed by adding the given uh, cost function, which here is called the objective function, that is 5x square uh, plus 2xy plus 3y square plus 800. Okay, we add this objective function and the resulting constraint uh, function, that is plus uh, lambda. 39 minus x minus y okay now to find the optimal values of x y and lambda what we need to do we need to partially differentiate uh, this Lagrange's function with respect to x y and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously okay first thing is uh, we partially differentiate with respect to x so l subscript x means partially differentiating our Lagrange's function with respect to x so the derivative of x square is 2 x so 5 2 is 10 okay i have shown you uh, the rules of uh, differentiation you can check uh, in this channel uh, you can find uh, n number of videos on differentiation plus the derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 2y since no x is involved in third term so derivative will be 0 here also the derivative is 0 because it is constant now the derivative of x is here 1 so we have minus 1 into lambda so we have minus uh, lambda is equal to 0 okay first we uh, differentiate with respect to x uh, okay and we set it equal to 0 okay similarly uh, after that we uh, take derivative with respect to y and set it equal to 0 so uh, differentiating this again with respect to y so since no uh, no y is involved in the first term so we have 0 as the derivative of the first term in the second term we have y the derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 2x uh, plus the derivative of y square is 2y so 3 2s are 6y since no uh, y is involved in first term or in this term so their derivative will be 0 and the derivative of y of course will be 1 so here we have minus 1 into lambda that is minus lambda is equal to 0 okay after that we take the derivative with respect to lambda that is l of lambda is equal to so taking derivative with respect to lambda since no lambda is involved in first second third and fourth term so their derivative will be zero derivative of lambda here will be one so we are left with 
39 minus x minus y and we set it equal to 0 okay now if we uh, rearrange here uh, we can write it like this if we just transpose this uh, lambda here so we have 10 x uh, plus 2 y is equal to lambda here also we have 2 x plus 6 y is equal to lambda okay let this be equation first this be equation second this equation third okay to find the optimal values of x and y what we need to do we will uh, divide equation first by third sorry equation first by second so dividing equation first by second so what will we get let us see so we have uh, 10x plus 2y to this we divide 2x plus 6y okay we are dividing on lhs so we need to divide on rhs also okay so lambda lambda gets cancelled we are left with one okay so we have let me write it here that means we got here one as a value so i will write here is equal to one that means if we cross multiply this with this so we have uh, 10x plus 2y is equal to 2x plus 6y okay i hope i am making myself clear now if we transpose this term this will get subtracted uh, 10x minus 2 so let me write it here 10x to make it more clear to you 2x is equal to 6y transposing this will become negative 2y so 10x minus 2x is 8x is equal to 6y minus uh, we have here uh, 6y minus uh, 2y will come out to be 4y okay or we can write here x is equal to uh, 4y upon 8 which comes out to be 1 upon 2y that implies x is equal to y upon 2 okay now what we need to do we just uh, plug this x is equal to y upon 2 in equation third okay so plugging this value here so we have 39 minus in place of x we have y upon 2 uh, minus y is equal to 0 or we can write it like this uh, 39 is equal to if we transpose here so this will become y upon 2 plus y okay so this is 2y 2 into y is uh, 2y plus y is equal to 3y which means a uh, 3y upon 2 is equal to 39 which implies uh, y is equal to 39 now if we transpose 3 by 2 it will get reciprocated here it will become 2 upon 3 okay so we have 3 ones are 3 13s are so 13 into 2 is 26 so our optimal value of y is 26 okay optimal uh, value of y is uh, 13 to the 26 okay now what is the optimal value of x we just need to plug this y is equal to 26 back in uh, equation third so we have uh, 39 39 minus x minus 26 is equal to 0 now 39 minus 26 comes out to be uh, 9 minus 6 is 3 uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 so 13 uh, minus x is equal to 0 implies x is equal to 13 okay when we transpose these terms so it will become x is equal to 13 so optimal value of y is 26 optimal value of x is 13 okay now what we need to do we have to find the additional costs if the fixed level of output is increased to 40 that means we need to find the value of lambda okay what will happen to our costs if uh, if uh, what you can say if there is increase in the constant of the constant that means if uh, production quota is increased by one unit how much additional costs we have to uh, incur here okay so that can be calculated by 
finding the value of lambda okay how do we find the value of lambda since we got the value of x and y we just need to plug these two values in either equation first or second okay so let's plug these two equation uh, two values in equation first okay to get the value of lambda so uh, put uh, y is equal to 26 x is equal to 13 in equation first so we have 10 in place of x uh, we got the optimal value of x is 13 plus uh, 2 the value of y we got 26 is equal to lambda so this is 130 plus 26 26 is so this is two ones are here this is 54 here okay this is 52 here uh sorry is equal to lambda okay so we have 130 plus two ones are so this is a two uh, five plus three is eight uh, we have one that means optimal value of lambda is 182 okay now what does this lambda tell us it is also called the shadow price this lambda tells us uh, yeah this lambda tells us an increase in the constant of the constraint when this constraint increases to 40 what the question tells us if this changes 39 changes to 40 our uh, cost will increase by 182 units so there will be 182 uh, units increase in cost if the production uh, quota increases by 1% or I can write it like this uh, this lambda tells us lambda is equal to 182 so let us see how to interpret it it says an increase an increase in constant uh, constant of constraint that is constant of constraint uh, what we call it here is production quota uh, production quota and here it is called a fixed level of output will lead to lead to additional additional cost of 182 okay this is the meaning of this lambda okay it says us when there is increase in the production quota by one unit that means 39 becomes 40 which the question asks us uh, there will be additional cost of 182 and uh, uh, similarly if there is decrease in the production quota by one unit so let us say it if, if it becomes 38 then it says our costs will decrease by uh, 182 units okay so if um, if a production quota increases by one unit okay cost will increase by 182 units okay similarly if production quota decreases by one unit uh, cost will decrease by 182 unit okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you if you like these videos please share and subscribe this is the only motivation for me to keep going on also if you want to donate you can donate to this channel uh, actually it is a free initiative uh, to incalculate uh, uh, the mathematical uh, flavor uh, to the economics and i am doing it uh, independently and singularly okay i have no uh, sponsorship or backup from anyone okay i'm just doing it as a hobby so that uh, people get motivated uh, to take the mathematical economics as easy as it is okay so if you can contribute uh, financially you can if not so it is also okay thank you